Hello there. Over the last couple of days, we saw a really big finance debate down in Queenstown that was moderated by Jack Tame and had spokespeople from a number of parties and their finance offerings that they had on the table, and it was really enlightening. Now, not being an economist, I can't really go into minutiae or numbers, but that's okay because National won't release the numbers. Nicola Willis said once again that she was not going to release them, and you've probably seen the footage by now of Christopher Luxon completely avoiding questions around it. Or the comments that have come from independent economists who have gone through their details with a fine-tooth comb and said it just doesn't add up. Ah, so probably a good thing that they didn't deal with that specifically too much in this debate. But there were some really interesting things that came through there that should be a little bit of a red flag for people considering voting for a right-leaning bloc. Things like Nicola Willis turning around and saying that they're going to remove protections for migrant workers so that they don't get exploited. That doesn't feel like a nice thing to do. Or David Seymour saying that by Christmas he wants 15,000 civil servant workers gone from their jobs. That would actually increase our unemployment rate from 3.6 to 4.1%. That's a massive jump. Like a massive jump. And can you imagine how much of a dick you would have to be to go, hey, I got a job, you're fired and it's Christmas. That... That's not cool. But then again, this was the same David Seymour who at the same event joked that when National gets into power, they're going to have to increase their budget for security at the Ministry of Pacific Peoples because, you know, he made a joke about Guy Fawkes and his followers are obviously clearly sane people who don't have any sort of extremist views that would cause any problems. Hmm. Overall, it is really tough at this stage for me personally to sit there and go, why are people being so self-destructive when they're looking at who they're going to vote for? And what I would thoroughly recommend you do is actually make sure you know who you're going to vote for, who you sort of line up with in an ideological sense. And there's a number of tools to do that, like Policy NZ, there's vote compasses out there, there's a whole range of them where you can go in and answer a whole bunch of questions and it'll give you an idea as to where you could be leaning. Entirely up to you on how much you take that on board, but... It's a really interesting tool to see what the policies are of your local politicians and where you sit in a political ideology landscape. Because what's really important is that come October 14, everybody goes out there and has their say. The more people that vote, the better our parliament is at representing us as a country. So if you haven't done the research yet, now is the time to dig in because in a couple of weeks, international voting starts and then early voting starts and by far too soon a date, it will be election day and it will be too late to have made a decision.